better start clapping. Y'all better start What's clapping. Up, Y'all better start Church? clapping. Y'all better start clapping. What's up, family? What's up? Y'all look good. Worship night. Ain't Worship nobody night at Happy Hour tonight, boy. Everybody at church. Y'all came God. dressed to worship. Anybody really ready to worship tonight? Y'all got, to, I see some nice tennis shoes. I got to see people with their hair back so nothing interferes. Do my son, they look good. Hold on, hold on, Joy. That was a little light. That was. I was going to let them pass because I thought they were saving their energy. You know, we, we were just in the back. Yes. And, and Pastor Josh said, give our talents mm. as if God was in the room. So Changes maybe y'all game. should think about giving your worship tonight as if God is in the room. Because so you let, know what? So let's ask that question again. Anybody ready to worship tonight? And you know what the amazing thing is? It's not if God is in the room. We know God He's is already in the room. here. Woo! He's already here. So can Speak. you pray us in? I will. Y'all get ready. We're going to go to the throne for a minute and bless this name. Father God, just thank you for this moment. Thank you for this body. Thank you for this church. Just the the kingdom spirit that mm. continues to run through this house. The talent, the gifts, just the leadership's need for them to know that we need this worship, that we need to be at your altar, that we need to let you know that we believe everything you said in your book. We trust every word. We understand that you are in the yes and the no, that whatever trials and tribulations, whatever joy, whatever rejoicing, whatever weeping that we may endure, we understand that God is in full control. Yes. And we devote this night to you, God. I want every person in this room to walk, put everything they have at your feet, Lord. Cover us. Keep us. Leave all of us empty when we leave this room. These and many other blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. So we've already established that God is here, but I want to know what campuses are here. Oh, you think we should do some out. campus shout outs? Well, listen. Okay. You want to get it started? I, I got to, you know, I got to honor you first. You know what I'm saying? Is anywhere in the building? They all online. They no, my campus. We, we can't get them bedside bammers to come to church. I mean, like. We have reasons for being online. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Because we're anywhere. Maybe you know, they're anywhere. They're in Bali. They're in Mexico. They're in Bali. Okay. Jamaica. They got passports. But what about Fort Washington? Is Fort Washington in the building? They here. They're here. Now, you know what I'm about to ask them, right? What? You know what I'm about to ask who here, right? No. No. Zero. Oh, yeah, baby. My people it's here. What up, cousin? What up? How, okay. Y'all not going to dominate worship night, okay? We can't help the favor of God that's over our house. Don't be it's mad at us. It's over all of Zion Don't Church, Don't be mad okay? at us. It's, what about Greenbelt? Is Greenbelt... Hey! I'm just glad y'all had somewhere to park tonight. <laughs> We will not be throwing shade at our host campus. And what about Woodbridge? What a bridge at? They said we are not getting in that traffic. Woodbridge said we'll be anywhere tonight. We will be online. Woodbridge said, we're, thank you, Lord, for the internet. They was like, have you, you saw the Woodrow Wilson Bridge lately? No, ma'am. They said, we're going to watch from the MGM. We ain't done messing with none of y'all. They said, where the spirit of the Lord is, right here in yep, my house. right that's here. That's where it's going to be worship. Yep. All right, so what else we got to do? So we welcome the people that, oh, we got some giveaways. We do got some we giveaways. Do. Y'all like prizes? Let's... So no, wait a minute. you do not. They do not like prizes. Who likes prizes? Okay, okay. Hey, listen, they went all out. They did. I was going to tell y'all they got Usher tickets, but that ain't true. They ain't got no Usher tickets. <laughs> Is Usher even coming to town anytime soon? No, he not. Okay. It's over. Pack it up. I it, think it's, it's done. VIP pass. He retired his roller skates. He's done. How about we give a prize? Anybody celebrating a birthday? Ooh, I'm celebrating a birthday! Hi. If it's your birthday, make some noise! If it's your birthday, make some noise! If it's... Woo. Okay, who has My a bad. birthday that was before Christ. today? That was before Christ. Who has a birthday today? You got a birthday today? Who got Come a birthday on today? Down. Come on down! Happy birthday! Just bring 
bring me one of them. Yeah, come on. Oh, we we got, got, no, we got two people with birthdays oh, today. Oh, come, come on, Karen, Do that y'all. birthday walk. Do that birthday walk. Come yeah. on, it's Trident. Go ahead. Karen Young, I love that hoodie you got on. Happy birthday. Model that hoodie for everybody. Show them that hoodie. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is not the Zelo worship night. This is Zion Church worship night. We are one. We are. We one are church. One. one church. Let's see. We got two more. Who's... If this is your first worship night, you're very, anybody, this is your very, oh my gosh, we got some Woo! first timers! Woo! All right. We don't have gifts for all of y'all, so how, okay. Yeah, we ain't, got but, we ain't got night, but one bag. Who's the youngest worship night attendee, and this is your first? We got two bags now? Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Pastor Joy, think, take the youngest and intro. take the oldest. Two. We got two bags. Three. Okay. The youngest, okay, I think you, young one, this is your first worship night? Your very first worship night. How old are you? You're eight, anybody younger than eight? You're younger than- The baby don't count. The what baby, the yes! Out of the mouth of babes! Out of the mouth of babes, come on! <laughs> All right, let's see, okay. Who's I that you hold up the baby. Like Lion King, Simba. We don't Hi tell nobody so free. Like the baby. All right, who's that? Okay, you're eight. What about you, sweetheart? How old are you? You look like you. You're six. Eight. Hey, the baby said they six, six with eight fingers holding up. They six. Raise your hand. You're gonna get it. My little six-year-old with a Snoopy shirt. Nisha, can you give her a gift? Come on, the children are in the yeah. building for worship night. I uh, love it. Okay, I, I need love a, it. I need a seasoned saint now. See, yeah. I need a seasoned saint. Season Salt saint. ministry professional. That's what I need. Seasoned saint, your very first worship night? Your very first Wor worship night? Come on up. Come on, come on. Give Wh it up for the seasoned Wh saint. Which one you got? I got one over here. So which one you got? We're going to give it to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. She got here first. F first worship night? I got you, Miss Janice. You know, I'm not, I got you, Miss Janice. Nope. Come in the Adidas. I got you, Miss Janice. Yep, I got you. Welcome to Worship Night! Yay! All right. So, Dumasani, one of the things I love about Worship Night is that oh. it's just not singing. It's not. No, nope, we hear testimonies. We have the dancers in the building. We do. Yes, and last night, Pastor Josh asked me to come and rap. He so did what? He asked me to open up with an A and B selection. Pastor, so I, Pastor Josh Davies. Yes. As so, Pastor Joy. Yes. To rap. Mm-hmm. So I've been practicing. Not to preach. Nope. He said, mm-mm, that's not your ministry He anymore. said, preaching ain't your ministry. Yeah, he said. But I rapping feel, is. He said, I felt something in I've my shine I've seen God now. move in some wonderful ways. I'm not sure yeah, he's moving right now. I got this. I got this. Are you ready? Please, they ain't ready. Count me in. Count me in. I count you in? Yeah. Now I know you can't rap. You said, count me in. We ain't dancing. This ain't the praise Speak and worship. Speak life. Me. Speak life. Okay. You ready? All right. We got, here we go. You ready? Yep. How about we introduce the real rap? I, but I really, I've been working. You really wanted to be I've been, been working. You, this is in your dream. This is my dream. In front dream. of Greenbelt. In front of Greenbelt. In Greenbelt. Worldwide. You, you don't know what skills I'm I got. I'm ready. You ready? In my bag. I'm you ready? ready? Yeah. All right. Hey, y'all. Soul clap. Y'all know the soul clap is, right? Come on. Come on. Now here's my beat. Well, you, that's your beat. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee, and in my life I put number four. You don't, but I've been proud. You didn't even let me finish. The spirit of the Lord is here. I was the really The spirit trying. of the Lord. Okay, I'm going to keep practicing. Yeah. Don't worry. I got hey, listen, for though. You. What? We, we, got, we got a real one for him tonight. Oh, we got a real, I'm a real rapper, by the way. I felt that shade. It wasn't no shade. It's okay. Introduce your rapper. Your I real rapper. I don't understand rapper. why people just can't live in their ministry. Just, <laughs> your ministry is dope, just not the raps. But anyway, I love you, Pastor Joy. I love you too, Duma Sani. It's not your rapping. So, <laughs> we do got an artist tonight. We do? Who we got oh, tonight? Oh, man. Y'all getting a free show from, from an artist. Y'all don't like free shows? Y'all don't like free shows? Y'all don't like free shows? Okay. Don't, you know, so y'all can get your Instagrams and your tweets out and your TikToks and be like, I heard him first. You heard him first. Live and And guess what? 
they actually a member of the church. Yes, we got real Imagine talent in that. Zion Church. We got talent. Right, him and his wife go here. They do. Do and they go they to Zillow? Huh? They, do they go to Zillow? Well, they, they oh. go back and forth. Because the real talent's here at Greenbelt. Yeah, our talent's so dope, we lend it out to the other campuses. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay. Watch it. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, really. Okay. We want to we wanna talk about this individual. He has been working on his ministry for a while. I actually have some of his music. That's I'm good. so mad he's not doing holy mumbo sauce tonight. Holy That's mumbo That's like my joint. That sounds like a jam. Oh, that man. Really I, be, like a I be playing it over at the campus. They don't even know it. They just be, they just be rocking with it. I'm telling you. <laughs> but listen, without no further ado, we want to bring out Hayden. Hayden, y'all make yeah. some noise and show some love to Hayden. What up, Zion Church? Y'all ready to worship tonight or what? Yeah. Welcome to Zion Sight, worship night, uh, I suggest you make your move, for the darkness finds a way to make you overanalyze, before I had a ride, I had a drive, I'm satisfied, used to float on 95 underneath the crimson sky, close my eyes and fantasize for this day that has arrived, vibing off the current, insecurities had me buried in the past, carry cash, hide it from the parents, Mary in the bag, bourbon in the flask, fury in the mask, all this hiding, how long can it last? Uh, wicked ways seem to prosper in this lifetime. Every day, breath below it be in my mind. All the way, Satan busting and the soul lost. I just pray for some vindication before I die. Wicked ways seem to prosper in this lifetime. Every day, fighting for a peace of mind. All the ways Jesus saved me from my own self. I just pray for some vindication before I die. Hey, when it's all over, think of what will be revealed. Fighting for a power that you never thought was real. Crowned by a power that you never thought was real. Ask me where I'll be the day the prophecy fulfilled. Tell me where you'll be the day the prophecy fulfilled. I gotta speak the truth until the day the truth revealed. The devil at my heels could have been pushing daffodils. I went to hell and back and no one say make it back for real. Seen to prosper in this lifetime. Every day fighting for a peace of mind. All the ways, Satan busting and the soul lost. I just pray for some vindication before I die. Wicked ways seem to prosper in this lifetime. Every day, revelations in my mind. All the ways, Jesus saved me from my own self. I just pray for some vindication before I die. Thank God. Thank God. How many of y'all know we serve a supreme God? 
And God's love is supreme. But it don't always feel like that. <laughs> Not this place. All this hate. Feeling so out of place. Fell from grace. Never ran out of grace. Haters going down at bay. But they never bring around my way. Pull it up and down it. Caught up in the wave, I'm drowning. Mama know I must be out. She can tell by the way I'm sounding. By the way I'm slurring. Driveway swerving. Highway nervous, blue lights turning. If they come my way, I'm burning. Tired at the grizzle, I'm serving. This life I earned it. Get life I earned it. Don't want to deserve it. Three strikes, is curtains. For a little bit of derby. Okay, it's Saturday nights, I'm church. Sunday mornings, I'm flirt. With the same bad woman who's curving. At the cabaret, let you come with a perch. Don't hurt em. Hiding the pain I feel. I see the pain in you. Looking at the stainless steel. Told her my God is real. I don't know what name is real. But I know the shame you feel. Everybody saying you kill. Counting up the dangerous bills. Walking off the stage in tears. Wish you were paid in years. All the time that you lost. Doing things you can't forgive. Nah. Oh, nah, that's not true. Calling his name, he got you. He already know everything about you. And he love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Hey. People say they love you, but they don't know what it means. People say they love you, but they don't know what it means. If you don't know Jesus, then you can't know what it means. I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme. People say they love you, but they don't know what it means. People say they love you, but they don't know what it means. I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme. I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme. I pray through it all. I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme. Yeah, and you know what I mean. I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme. Hey, I pray through it all. Yeah, I pray through it all. Yeah, oh yeah. That's how we make. We pray through it. Look, I'm a Christian, but I'm feeling like a sap. I've been rolling up sometimes, escaped the madness Said I stop it on the way back home from Paris Walking in, I'm turned again, I feel embarrassed I got my own, but I still feel unestablished Even when I got it, I still feel like I don't have it Instagram scrolling, I've been looking for the baddest And it's bad, I know, but to stop what I imagine So hard to control every time I think I have it I'm back in that hole, Lord, you want me in a mansion But somehow I go to that sin where I've been shacking How you love me so, I'm just asking Ay. And don't be acting like you don't know what I mean Watching what I say, there's love and hate, no in between All comes down to faith, cause you gon' say what you believe I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme Hey, and you know what I mean First they say they love you, then they rush you off the scene People say they love you, but they don't know what it means I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme People say they love you, but they don't know what it means People say they love you, but they don't know what it means I just keep on praying that your love remains supreme I just keep on praying, yeah. I pray through it all, yeah I pray through it all, yeah I pray through it all, yeah, oh yeah. Y'all hear that? Sing it with me. I pray through it all, yeah. I pray through it all, yeah. I pray through it all, yeah, oh yeah. Praying that your love remains supreme. Hallelujah. Woo. Zion, worship night. It's a special night. I don't know, I've been at Zion for a while. So I remember the first worship night. Does anybody in here remember the first worship night? Over there at Zelo, Zion Landover. Stage was about a quarter of this size. You know what I mean? But it's the same spirit from then to now. I wanna take this moment to shout out my wife, Portia, who couldn't be here tonight. And I'm gonna tell you why. Four years ago, worship night 2019, in the winter, I think it was November, December, I was up here at Zelo, worshiping, rapping, serving God, but not a lot of people knew that my wife and I had just suffered a tragic loss. We lost my son, who was born in September, he passed away in October, 26 days later. 
I remember when he was born, I was so full of faith that I told everyone at my job, church, all my family members, I'm not worried. I told the doctors, go ahead, give y'all a little diagnosis, but I serve a guy who works miracles. Y'all don't, don't know. So when he did pass away, my whole faith was crushed. I didn't know how to explain how God, who can do anything, would allow that to happen to me and my wife. I was hurt. So there was a pandemic right after. And during that time, I was separated from a lot of people, going through a lot of depression, had to go through some therapy. And I learned from some pastors here, Pastor Battle, Pastor Page, Pastor Eric Kellum, that you have to talk to God and be honest with him. So I was honest with God for those, for the last four years, I was honest with God. I told God exactly how I felt. Some of it, I had to ask for forgiveness later. Like, God, you know, you know my heart. You know I'm a Christian. But, you know, I had some really hard times dealing with that loss of my son. This next song I'm doing is called Faith Works. And it talks about trusting God enough to take action. The reason I shouted out my wife, other than the fact that she's beautiful and she's my wife, is because she's so strong in her faith that even after what we went through and after the doctors told us what we would have to face, she still decided to try again. And we faced our fear and we tried again. And yesterday, my son came home. He was born at 26 weeks. We were in the NICU for 10 weeks. All I had was God. All I had was my faith in God. That's why I trust him. That's why I dedicate all of my music to God. I could do anything, but I trust God. And I worship God. And I surrender to God. And that's what worship is about, is surrender. So we surrender. We put our faith in God. And we back up our faith with action. Because faith without works is dead. Let's go! Woo! This is my sister right here, y'all. She's going to help me out with this one. Hey! Uh, uh. Faith without works is dead. Uh. Faith without works is dead. Hey! Faith without works is dead. Hey! Faith without works is dead. 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 Hey! People say Christians lazy. Say we pray with no action. Though we ain't saved by works, but faith without works ain't no backing. Faith without works is no back end. Don't hop off that water, get back in. Just stick to the script and the captions. And keep the Lord as your captain. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Gotta stay straight on my mission. Used to be focused on dividends. Now I'm more focused on vision. Now I'm more focused on listening. Now my team rolling like Michelin. When people ask me the difference, that's when I tell them the difference. Faith without works is dead. 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 So I work like it depends on me. Yeah, cause why? Lord, I depend on you. Woo! You give me the strength to succeed. Yeah, you give me the strength to succeed. Lord, I've been working and working. Still, I don't know my purpose. Lord, I've been going to churches, still I don't know my worship. Lord, I walk out of the service, barely remember the sermon. I should've known when I heard it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Lord, you prepare me for greatness. Hey. Chopping these demons like Jaden. Used to be ballin' for Satan. Now check the roster I'm trading. Look at my debt, Lord, you paid it. Look, Look at, at my, my debt, Lord, Lord, you paid it. I do not care if they hate it. I'm just so happy I made it. 
own condition, and it was causing my heart to fail. Two months ago, my six-year-old son was hit by a car. In April of 2023, I received a call from my doctor, and she said she found something.
is a simple matter And this Is a Whatever your this is Say this Tell yourself It's a simple matter So simple So simple He can do that too Good evening, Zion Church. Welcome to worship night. Can I just pull the room for a quick second? Has anybody come to receive from Jesus? Come on, come on. We're going to sing. It's going to be some nice songs and we're going to do some nice stuff. But has anybody came to this house to leave some things here? Hallelujah. This is a simple matter. Hallelujah. We know the God that, that sits high and he looks low. Hallelujah. If I could just pull the room for a quick second. Does anybody know him to be healer? Does anybody know him to be savior? Does anybody know him to be keeper? Hallelujah. Does anybody know him to be strong tower? Hallelujah. He's our firm foundation.
Now if we could testify together If we put all our testimonies Into one song This is what I believe that we would sing Rain It sounds like you've tested him. I'm Defeated, 
undisputed champion. Time after time after time again, God is faithful, God is reliable, He's omnipotent, He's omnipresent. So that means no matter what you're facing, no matter how deep the valley, no matter how dark the night, guess what? He's coming through. He's coming But he holds us. Yeah. So the fact that we sing that when everything is shaken, yeah. we're glad, not just because we're standing on the rock, but the rock is holding us. Come on, the man. rock of ages, clock for me, is surrounding yeah. me. He's not just fighting me, he's my good, good shepherd. So like a sheep, he's holding me in his hand. Yeah. I got you. We're gonna make Ooh. it through. I got you. I don't fail. I've already conquered death, hell, and the yeah. grave. There's yeah. nothing yeah. greater than me. Yeah. I am the risen king. Yeah. I am the risen king. Yeah. I don't fail. Yeah. I don't know what you're going through, but somebody in here needs to know yeah. he's got you. He has you in the palm of his hand. Yeah. I know what the doctor report said. I know what your spouse said. I know yeah. your kids are driving you crazy, but he won't fail you. I know it looks like he has because yeah. you like the Hebrew boys you're in the fiery pit and you're like but God I trusted you on, yes you're in the fire but you're coming out gold because he doesn't fail yeah. I know it looks like it's over but it's not it's not over till it's good yeah. so if it's not good he's still working yeah. take heart yeah. be of good courage yeah. wait on the Lord take heart be of good courage yes. and wait on the Lord. Yes. He won't fail. fail. Woo! Y'all give it up for Pastor John. Oh my Lord. We are Zion Music, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, why would you ever want to rap, Jesus? I don't know. That is that word that is within you. I mean, you don't know how many people you talking to right now, Joy. There's people in this room whose year is ending, not like it started. Ask me how I know some people in this room whose year is ending, not like it started. I'm telling you, I was one of them people up in their room, in their feelings, questioning God. Thought I had did what I was supposed to do. I was checking the blocks. I know what I was doing. So I thought. I was mad at my daddy. Mm. Man, you tripping. And he was like, am I your firm foundation though? Do you trust me? And if he your firm foundation, when he tell you no, mm. say hallelujah. When he tell you yes, say hallelujah. When he say nothing, say hallelujah. Because it's the foundation of the Lord that keeps us day in, day out, that has saved us from things we ain't even aware of. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Come on, church. Oh, my God. Man, we got... We came out here to do something. Y'all got us all in a whole nother place. We definitely had like a whole plan. And it, it, we wrote it down and everything. I mean, wreck the plan. I got the text to prove it. <laughs> Woo, whoo. Hey, listen, we want to just take a moment. We don't want to take it for granted. Uh, we get excited when people come to this house. We are. And we know different experiences bring different people out. And we just want to see who's in the house for the first time. If this your first time hanging out with this dope body of Christ, wave your hands in there if this your first time. Oh! Hey, we got oh! a lot of first time. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, listen. You are very important people to us. And so, if you could just do us a quick favor, we want to give you an opportunity to be a part of the show. 
So text Zion VIP. That's Zion VIP to 51555. Zion VIP to 51555. We just want to connect with you. We want to let you know that we, we appreciate you coming. We know you have a lot of choices when it comes to churches, and we just so amazed and humbled and just just feel special that you chose this one. Amen. You know what else is special, Dumasani? What's that? Here at Zion Church, it's always a special moment when we get to give back to God. Ooh, you know, I you should talk about that. Why do we give back to God? We give as an act of worship. Ooh. Like we're singing songs and that's one way to worship. Mm. But in the Christmas story in Matthew, I was actually reading earlier today and it says the wise men came mm -hmm. to worship God oh. and they brought gifts. They brought some dope gifts too. So in this moment, we want to invite you yes. to worship through your giving. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how big or how small the gift is, but we just want to invite you to give God an offering. Yes. Not a tithe, but an offering, which is yes. a gift a way to say thank you, a way to remind yourself that you trust God as your provider, a way to say to God, thank you for giving us Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, our Savior, our yeah. King of Kings. So here's a gift to express my gratitude. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pray, and then the baskets are going to go through. There are lots of different ways to give. They're on the screen. Yes. There's also envelopes in the back of your seat if you'd like to give that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Dear Lord, we thank you for being our firm foundation. Yes. We thank you for being our solid rock. Mm -hmm. And we thank you for this opportunity to give. Yes. We're grateful that whether we're giving $1, $100, it doesn't matter because you're looking at our hearts. Mm -hmm. So God, be pleased with our worship tonight. Be pleased with our offering and use it for your glory and your honor. Let what we give be multiplied in your hands, be multiplied to expand your kingdom, to reach more lives. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Y'all give it up for giving to God. Come on. God likes a joyful giver. Y'all, that was that. I'm going to put something on it, clap. That was, put something on it, clap. Listen, we got a few things going on this month. We got a few things going on this month we want to hip you to. Yes, we do. So save the date which you technically don't have to save because it's already on your calendar, Christmas Eve. So join us Christmas Eve. We're going to have a special worship experience. Can I tell them, though? Yes, I was told we can tell. We can tell? Yes, we can tell. We ain't going to get in trouble, Josh, is we? <laughs> I got clearance from Josh because I just, just got here. I don't want to leave yet. So, guess... Pastor Josh, Pastor Pastor Josh, Josh said that I'm we can sorry. share. Put some respect my, on his name. My, my bad. I mean, we brothers. I'm, I'm, I meant no harm, Pastor. But I'm glad to see your bodyguards already. <laughs> Whole front row was about to be armor barrels. I felt like I yep. was at First Baptist of Glen Arden for a minute. I didn't know we what was going on. We have special guests. Let us see. Let us see going to be in the building Christmas Eve. So make sure you join us for all three services. Even our yeah. anywhere folks, the experience will be streamed online. And then join us for New Year's Eve. We're having an 8 p.m. service and an 11 p.m. service here at Zion Greenville. Hold on, Pastor Joy. You said an 8 p.m. service and an 11 p.m. service. 8 and 11. You think can come for either one. All right. So let me help y'all out. 8 and 11. All right. 8, eight, eight and 11. 11. Plan your saved accordingly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, that's it from us. We're going to turn it back over to Zion. We are Zion Music to yes! continue leading us. Yes. Well, all right, Zion Green Belt, y'all all right? Zion anywhere. Could y'all stand with me, everybody? Put your hands together like this. Right here. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody online, walk with me. Come on, come on. Put your hands is holding me ha! nothing can stop my praise everybody put your hands together come on oh, 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 oh. we were made for freedom Jesus has redeemed us I'm praying I see you singing
sing it if you know it. Go on, you talk. My face been going kind of crazy. I remember what you told me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I walked through the valley, you will never leave me lonely And I'm grateful, God, cause yeah, you've always been the truth So I will declare your word and tell the world Even if the others walk away I Just cry for one night. Just only one night, though. Only one night, 
you gon' cry, just cry for one night. Only one night, though. If you gon' stress, just stress for one night. Only one night, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only one night, though. Yeah. If you gon' cry, just cry for one night hey. Only one night, though Don't drop tears, just tears for one night Let's get it. Only one night, though. 
Say crime ain't doing for a night.
17, 2023, I was on my way to pick up my son from football practice. Um, on this particular day, we was on a different field practicing, so um, this wasn't the normal routine for us. Usually the coaches hand off each child to their parent, but when I got on the field, I, couldn't, I didn't see my son in line. So I got to asking them where is my son Kingston at and no one knew where he was at at the moment. But the coach mom had assured me that um, he didn't come past the gate to lead on the street. So they instructed me to go look on the field for him. So I began to walk up to different groups of players and kids asking where's Kingston at and no one could find him, no one could tell me where he was. So I started getting a little worried and um, about five or 10 minutes, I um, heard one of the parents yell, where's Kingston's mom? And so I like walked fast to her and was like, I'm looking for him, have you seen him? And she was like, Kingston got hit by a car outside the gate. So I ran to the street and I seen my son laying on the ground, bleeding from his face. And I couldn't do anything but tend to my son on the ground and try to keep him still. Um, the ambulance ended up coming and we left. Um, he was examined by the doctors and he didn't have any broken bones, so I thank God for that. Um, he didn't need any x-rays because he was jumping in the hospital, like very excited to see everybody that was coming to visit him. So even the staff was like appalled that he, you know, was moving around. When Kingston got hit by the car, he, the impact made him fly in the air and land, come down on his face. So he was bruised real bad on his face at the time. He had all of his equipment on, so I believe that saved him from getting my, uh, major injuries. I know that it was only God who saved him that day. Um, everybody, all they could just explain was that it was a loud impact. Everybody heard a big old boom and seeing him go up and come down. Like, I don't believe that it was nothing but God. Um, a week later, a week later, someone else had got hit by a car a couple of blocks down and they passed away from their injuries, so, you know, you look at your blessings and make sure you count them. I do. I do. <laughs> hey everybody on your feet right here. Ha! Everybody on your feet right here. Y'all look a little tired. Y'all tired yet? to you. Hey, online, listen. Nah, and the door will open. Ask, and you shall receive if you have any questions about my God. Ask me how I know he made a way for me. Bring all your problems and all your cares.
make some noise for the King of Kings up in here. Anybody come to lay their burdens down? Come on. Why should I worry? Why should I be afraid? Freedom's calling me to another place. God is waiting with arms open wide.
answer There's an answer Oh, what peace we often forfeit There's an answer Can we do something crazy right quick? Y'all just go with me for just two seconds. I want you to just go to three different people that you didn't come in here with. He can handle every problem. You just encourage them. You tell them. Tell them that. Please tell them. He can handle every problem. You tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them with conviction. Hallelujah. He can handle every problem uh, you don't have to carry it alone he can handle every problem there's nothing too big for him hallelujah he can handle every problem there's nothing too big for him he can handle every problem there's nothing to be for him. He can handle every problem. There's nothing to be for him. He can handle every problem. Come on. There's nothing to be for him. He can handle every problem. Let me hear you. There's nothing to. There's nothing to be. Hallelujah. He can handle every problem. Bring your burdens. You can come and lay it down. 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 You came in looking good. You came in cute, dolled up with your friends and your family. And everybody thought it was good. What we couldn't see is you came in with a burden. You came in with the weight because things aren't as great as it seems and your burden is getting really heavy and Jesus is saying lay it down but I got it God I'm so strong lay it down but God it's just I don't know if you can do it lay it down God I trusted you but you didn't come on my time so I don't want to let it go lay it down come to me all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest lay it down oh what peace we often forfeit because our hands are clenching to burdens and God is saying lay it down there's nothing too big there's nothing too small that I can't handle. Lay it down. Some of you are carrying burdens because you think it's too small. And God reminded me today that in the Gospels where he feeds the 5,000, they call it a miracle. Do you know what the miracle was? He fed people. These weren't people who were homeless or experiencing hungry. 
It was people who stayed at church all day. And that need wasn't too small. He could have sent them away and they would have been fine. But he said, I got you. And some of y'all think that I can't give this to God, not because it's too big, but the devil has lied to you to say it's too small. And God has said, I don't care about the burden. I'm telling you, lay it down. Come to me. Tonight, we want to give you the opportunity to lay it down. Whatever that it is, lay it down. In your seats, behind your seats, there are some note cards and some pens. If you don't have any, the ushers will give you one. Write down your it. Whatever it is, give it to God. It doesn't matter what it is, give it to God. He can handle it. Your sickness, He can handle it. Your marriage, He can handle it. Your job, He can handle it. Your stress, anxiety, He can handle it. Your children, He can handle it. Your fears for tomorrow, He can handle it. Whatever it is, He can handle it. I was reading my Bible earlier in Psalms chapter 52, 55. Verse 22, it says in the Passion Translation, see what I've learned through it all. Leave all your cares and anxieties at the feet of the Lord and measureless grace will sustain you. He has enough grace to sustain you, but you can't receive it if you're holding your burden. Let it go. Don't walk into 2024 with the same burden when you have a moment right now, right now to lay it down. So the worship team is going to keep on singing and we want to encourage you to come to me, come to Jesus, write down on that piece of paper, whatever your burden is and just drop it at the altar, drop it at the feet of the Lord and receive endless grace. Come and lay it down. 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 Come and lay it Last year this time, I was told that I only had four months to live. My heart was failing, but I also found out that I had two blood clots and two brain tumors to the point where I was getting discouraged. I was praying, I was fasting, and to be honest, I was getting more and more upset with God. Like, why me? Like, like why does it have to happen to me? I'm only 30 years old. And then I felt like I heard God say, if I don't heal you, Am I still good? And I was crying, but the answer was yes. And from there, it's like I felt something break. I still wasn't healed though, but my entire perspective on life had changed. It was like, if I live or not, I wanna make sure I have the, the biggest impact I can possibly have. I started serving more at church. I even got involved um, in a pediatric mentorship program where I was just encouraging a living on kids. I did one last fast, and at the end, I didn't get healed. But then, three weeks later, I woke up for the first time in three years, and I was like, yo, I don't have any more pain. My head's not throbbing, I don't have any more pain, but the biggest part was that I realized that, that throughout the day, I had taken zero medication. I still didn't have an appointment, though, until the following week. I went to the doctor and they were like, it's impossible. They moved machines out three and four times and realized, oh no, she's been healed. My tumors were gone and my heart was actually the strongest it had truly ever been. And not only did God completely heal me, but there were actually two nurses that walked this whole journey with me. And as a result, they got saved. And if God can do it for me, 
and that he can do it for you.
concern from something she had seen on my screening from a procedure I had just had. She wasn't quite sure what it was, but she was uncomfortable with what she had found. She told me that there was going to need to be additional testing and she was going to need to send it to a lab. During the process of her telling me this, she did her best to keep me calm. She did her best to tell me that everything was going to be okay. But during that time, the enemy was also working on the other side, telling me that everything wasn't going to be okay telling me that I would never see my children graduate from college. I would never see my children have their own children. I wouldn't be able to live out my older years with my husband of 21 years, and that everything was just going to be completely different and I was not going to survive this. I was told that I would receive a call back within a week with the information from the screening results. That week turned into two weeks. That week turned into three weeks with no information no calls from my doctor. I kept calling, still didn't receive any information. It wasn't until I finally called the office and asked to speak directly with her that she called me back shortly thereafter. And she said, I should have the results by tomorrow, but if you just hold on, I'll be able to get you some information. At that point, I was really frustrated because I felt like it was taking too long to get this information. I felt like the enemy was just working on my mental health to get, keep me discouraged about what the results might, might have been. Now I sing about the goodness of God, but in that moment, I was not feeling the goodness of God. I was feeling the trick of the enemy. About a day or two later, she finally gave me a phone call and she said, it's not what we thought it was. You do not have cancer and we don't need to see you for another five to 10 years. That reminded me that regardless of what the doctor says, God still has the final say, and in the waiting, in the waiting, he is still true to his word. Hallelujah. Come on, I say hallelujah. This is worship night, I say hallelujah. I wish somebody would get excited about somebody else's testimony. Hallelujah. Anybody know that he won't fail? Y'all know this song. All of your problems, all of your pain, all of your trouble, you can give it to Jesus. Yes, Lord. All of your burdens, all of your cares, even your Cause he won't fail, he won't fail, he won't leave you, no, no, he won't fail, he won't fail, he won't fail, he won't leave you, no, no, he won't fail, all of your problems, all of your pain. Of your trouble, you can give it to Jesus. Hey, all of your burdens, all of your cares, even your struggles, you can give it to Jesus. Here's why, cause he won't fail. He won't fail.
stay right there. The only people that I want to see this part is the people that have seen it with their own eyes. Now, if you've never seen him heal, it's not your part of the song, okay? If you've never seen him keep you when nobody else could, this is this 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 not your part of the song yet, okay? It, it, if you've never seen him make a way out of no way, this 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 not your part yet. If you've ever went to the doctor and they said we don't know what's wrong, but it don't look like you're gonna make it, in some kind of way you still here. This, this, this your part. So when I say I've seen it with my own eyes, I just want you to think back over your life and think about the things that you've seen with your own eyes. Said I've seen it with my own eyes. Hold on now. It seems like we got some people in here that have seen the goodness of God. Come on. Hey. Said I've seen it with my own Oh my goodness. They say with two or three are gathered, there he is in the midst. I had to come over to you. Come on. Said, I seen it with my own eyes. It seems like some people have seen him move, have seen him heal, have seen him make ways. Come on, hey, I've seen it with my own eyes. Seen it with my own eyes.
Sometimes we gotta go back. Don't you worry about a thing because he promised every little thing is gonna be all right. Yeah. Don't you worry about a thing. He promised every little thing is gonna be all right. I think I'm gonna break all protocol right now and I'm gonna sing a song. I believe you're my healer. I believe you are all I I believe you're my portion. I believe, come on, sing it out. You're more than it for me. Jesus, you're all. All right, this time, sing it by yourself. I believe, sing it like you believe it. You're my healer. I believe. You are all I need. I believe you're my boy. Come on, raise your hands in the room and say it. I believe you're more. Do you believe that tonight? Jesus, you're all I, nothing is impossible for you, nothing is impossible, nothing is, what y'all doing in the back, come on, sing it out, for you, you hold my world in Come on, sing it again to the Lord. Nothing is impossible for nothing is possible. Nothing is impossible for you. Cause you hold my world. My name is Leah Clark Leach. This is my wonderful, amazing husband, Chris Leach. And on September 23rd, 2003, at 1.22 p.m., we welcomed our son, Dawson Amar Leach. It was a Tuesday night in 2017, fall of 2017, and we were supposed to have Tuesday night Bible study. And I remember we got the call that Pastor Battle said, we're not gonna do Bible study. We're gonna let the worship team loose and we're gonna have a worship night. We had never done anything like that before, but we was just gonna all come together from all of the campuses and we was just gonna sing songs and whatever happened, happened. And 
that will be a day that will be recorded in the book of life. It's just what we was going to do. And I remember that day because right before I came to the service, I had just left from an appointment, actually a surgery to have cysts removed. And because it was my second time doing it and the first time it didn't hurt, I knew that I could have the surgery and then I can go and sing and nobody would know that I was in pain. Nobody would know that I was suffering. Nobody would know what my issue was because I was singing to Jesus. It didn't really matter. And I remember that night we were singing a song. As a matter of fact, it was this song. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the song, I started rubbing my stomach. And I didn't know for about 20 seconds I was rubbing my stomach that there was an eruption of a praise in the congregation and people were so excited because they thought I was announcing that I was pregnant. But then my face switched because people was wondering something's wrong. And in that moment, what I really was doing was declaring by faith that I could still have an opportunity to have a miracle. So I kept rubbing my stomach and people kept jumping up and down and they were so excited. And I was excited too, but then I was like, this ain't going to really happen. And so doubt set in. I'm not talking about 20, 15, 20 days later. No, I'm talking about as soon as I got to the car, doubt set in. And I started having this conversation with God, like, how could you let me say this? Like, people are now going to be in our business. And how could you allow this to happen to us? And you, you know we've been praying for, at the time, it was 12 years that we had been praying for a baby. How could you do this to us? And you just embarrassed us. I don't know if y'all ever have those conversations with God, but I'm sitting there having a debate with him and trying to figure out why would you put me out there like that? You just embarrassed me. How could you do that? And then I heard a small, still voice say, you know, it's always my word against yours, right? <laughs> it's your word against me. And my word never falls to the ground. Everything I say, I'm going to do. Everything I put out, it's going to come back to me. It won't return void, but it's going to accomplish what it went out to do. And so he said, do you believe? And I said, Lord, I believe, but. And immediately that's when my faith stopped. So I said, all right, cool, cool. So I went to the doctor again and had what would be a total of four surgeries, so much so to the doctor told me on the fourth one, he said, you know, Miss Leach, you might as well forget it. You'll never have a baby. As a matter of fact, if you do have a baby, it'll be 95% chance that you'll lose the baby because your cysts are growing at an insurmountable amount that we can't even control it. We're having to do surgery after surgery after surgery. And then I heard God saying again, do you still believe? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I mean, you put me out here. You made me say it. You're not going to let your word go bad. So let's see how this goes. So I took his word. He said, you know what? Maybe you should try a fertility doctor. And there's somebody in here today. I know I'm talking to you because I feel you pulling on me. The doctor has told you that you'll never be able to have a baby. You'll never be able to conceive. But wait till the story ends. I'm almost done. So I went to the fertility doctor and had them to do all these tests and all these things. And so much so till my husband got upset and he was just like, why do we have to keep going through this? I don't wanna do all of this. He said, I still believe God that he can do this for us. Why are we going? And I said, I'm gonna help God with this miracle. I'm gonna do my part. So I'm gonna help him do what he said he was gonna do. He need my assistance. Y'all ain't never been like that before. I know y'all, Y'all got faith the size of a mustard seed, so y'all believe God. But I said, I'm going to help him with his miracle. And so I started having so many fertility treatments and so many tests and so many cycles of treatments till the people at the parking garage knew my name. That's how many times I was going. <laughs> Until I knew what the procedure was, I knew what the medication was, that on this day I take this medication and skip these days and then you go back to the doctor and you do this and do that. Till it was programmed in my mind until I got one phone call while I was sitting at work and the young lady called me and she said, I'm sorry Miss Leach, it didn't work this time, you know what we can do, you can come back next month. <laughs> I ain't find that funny. 
And what I said was she better be lucky she on the phone because I would have punched her in her face. I know y'all ain't ghetto like that. I am. Because you're not going to talk to me and you're not going to do that to me because this is my life. I'm not a number. That's for somebody in here. They talking to you like you're a number. Make sure they hold your name up right. Yeah. So I said, you know what? It's mentally draining on my family. We having a disconnect between our marriage and we not seeing eye to eye. So you know what? We gonna stop it. And then the pandemic happened. So I was like, hooray. I don't have to worry about this no more. God, you said it. Oh, well, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> let's, let's go somewhere else. Let's try something else. So the pandemic happened. That was 2020, 2021, 2022. I was so happy and I became calm. And I was okay because I had experienced my nephew getting to high school. If you know my nephew, that is my child. He's in 12th grade. Cool. I raised him. That's my child. Maybe God, that's what you were saying all along. That that would be the child that you had. Until I went in for my physical in December 2021. And this doctor, my doctor, he said to me, so... What are we going to do about giving birth again? And I rolled my eyes and I'm like, you already know how I feel about this. I've talked to you extensively about the mental and the physical and the emotional and the spiritual and how I wreaked havoc on my husband and why I didn't. He said, do you believe that we can do it again? He ain't even a believer. He said, why not try it again? I said, excuse me? He said, do you believe it? Why not try it again? I said, say that one more time. He said, you heard what I said. Do you believe that it can happen? Well, why not try it again? And somebody in here needs to know you might want to try it again. I know they told you you'll never qualify for it, but try it again. I know your credit ain't right and they told you it'll never happen, but try it again your grades don't make it up and you don't have all the degrees that you need but try it again the doctor's report even proves by facts that you shouldn't actually be able to do it but I'm telling you today try it again can you just look at somebody and tell them try it again no tell somebody else because somebody needs a faith boost in here you need to try it again the word of the lord in the house is you need to try it again you ought to believe beyond belief you should try it again try it again and so i said okay i'll try it again i'll try it again so he said okay cool we'll do all the tests we'll do all that need to be done and when you come back in january if the test look like how it is we'll start the process for fertility so I got excited again because I said, okay, God, you're a miracle worker. Cool, you're a miracle worker. Until he said, go take a pregnancy test. My doctor said it. Go take a pregnancy test. And I'm like, this is about to get on my nerves. And I told my husband, why are we doing this? We about to set ourselves up. This is insane. Until the pregnancy test came back pregnant. I said, wait a minute. You might want to redo that again. So I took another test. And this time the, the strikes started showing up. Pregnant. I said, wait a minute, this can't be right. So I got a, a non-name brand one, just to be sure. And it said, pregnant. So I told my husband, I said, what are we supposed to do? And he said, I don't know, I guess call the doctor. And when I called the doctor, he said, I want to see your face. And I said, it, it says I'm pregnant. And I said, wait a minute. And he said, I said, why didn't you say anything to blow her? He said, because if I would have told you, you would have never believed me. And that's somebody's situation in here tonight. You're really trying to look for an answer. And I'm here to tell you, it actually is going to work in your favor. But the only reason why it's not showing up right now is because God is trying to see, do you really believe him? Do you really believe that he has the faith to work a miracle on your behalf? Do you really believe that he can turn that situation around? Do you really believe that he can bring that family member back to your house? Do you really believe that he can make somebody become clean even though they've been like that for 30 years? Do you believe that I can still work a miracle on your behalf? Do you believe that I can heal your body from cancer? Do you believe that I can save your loved one? Do you believe that I can make this situation turn out for your good? Somebody say, Lord, I believe. Somebody say, Lord, I believe. Say, Lord, I believe. No sound like you really 
now I can say it for real. Nothing is impossible for you. 16 years, and I got what I wanted. Nothing is impossible for you. You put your prayer request on the altar tonight. I want you to think about that prayer request and then put an answer on it. Nothing is impossible. Can you lift your hands before a worthy God and just worship him in this moment? And just thank him in advance for the good report that he's already done. As it is in heaven, it's already being established here on the earth. That whatever you need, Zion anywhere, he can handle it for you. himself to Moses as I am he told him to take off his shoes because it was holy ground y'all don't have to do that but I believe the spirit of God is in this place right now so you don't have to stop you can lift your hands here come on just speak speak to your father come on tell him thank you Tell him how much you love him. He's here now. He wants to connect with you. He wants to connect with you. Right now, he's increasing somebody's faith. He's increasing your faith right now. He's increasing your faith right now. He's increasing your faith right now. He's restoring your hope right now. He's restoring your hope right now. Somebody's hopeless. He's restoring your hope right now. He's giving you hope. Come on, he's giving you peace right now. He's giving you beauty for ashes right now in this moment. He's giving you beauty for ashes. He's giving you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Come on, he's taking your yoke right now. Earlier you laid your burdens down. He's taking it right now. I believe somebody feels lighter right now in this moment. Somebody came in here heavy and now you're light. All my life you have been All my life you have been so, so With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness Oh, come on, come on, lift up your worship, Zion He's sending angels right now Oh my life you have been Oh my life you have been so so good With every breath that I am able Come on sing it out Oh I will Yeah of the goodness cause your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me with my life laid down I surrender
Come on, even the babies have a worship. Sing it one more time. Your goodness is. He said he'll leave the 99. He's chasing after you right now. Your goodness is. I believe you're running after me, Jesus. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you all of me, Jesus. worthy. Ah. 
Just sing it out, say hallelujah, 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 oh, hallelujah.
God Almighty Jesus. Good God Almighty Jesus. You're so mighty, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. When did I start to forget all of the great things you did? When does miracles you are more than able thank you Leah Woo! he is more
ago, our, our illustrious pastor, Pastor Battle, started preaching a series called What's Going On, What's Going On in Your Head, Y'all, and part four, the Lord started to move in a mighty way, and our pastor started hearing the word breakthrough, 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 and so y'all, for the first time ever, Zion Music, we done made a song. And it's called Breakthrough. Here comes the breakthrough. Come on, man. God, but can you fix this? I'm calling out, but are you listening? Because I don't see a way out of this. Tell me, God, how did I get here? Every time I feel forsaken I know you're working in my waiting Listen, you're my only way out of this Lord, I'm so broken But you're mending all the pieces Zion music, come on. Say, even when I can't see, even when I can't see, Lord, you're fighting for me. There's no battle that you're not in. Even when I feel weak, I will fall on my knees. Lord, I know you will be me. Listen, there. here comes a breakthrough. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, hey, say, here comes a breakthrough. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I feel forsaken 
listen, let's testify. Hallelujah. You're my only way out. You're my only way out of this. Lord, I'm so broken. But you're picking all the pieces. Thank you, Jesus.
I know you're working in my waiting. You're my only way out of this. Lord, I'm so broken. But you're mending all the pieces. But you're mending all the pieces. I don't always understand. But you're mending all the pieces. I don't always agree. But you're mending all the pieces. Even when I can't see But you're mending all the pieces Even when I can't see That you're mending all the pieces This is your breakthrough now that clock will be okay but i said this is your breakthrough we're not there yet pastor josh but we on the way i said this is your breakthrough the thing you've been praying for the thing you've been crying for i said right here this is your breakthrough what is your response when he grants the thing that you've been praying for? This is your breakthrough. Whoa. Whoa. This is your breakthrough. Whoa. Are you glad you came tonight? Whatever you had to go through to get here? Wow. Wow. I don't know what to say. Hmm. What's this? I'm late. Prayer request? Oh, y'all ain't playing in here tonight. Amen. So I'm supposed to pray. Let me do what I'm supposed to do. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here tonight. And thank you for a place where we can worship you. And for a moment, we can put our problems aside and our worries aside and our concerns and cares and lift you up above it all. Because you are above all. You're above all kingdoms. You're above all thrones. There's no one or no thing greater than you. You are altogether lovely. You are perfect in all of your ways. You make no mistakes. And we pray for every need that exists in this room tonight and people who are watching online we pray that your touch would reach homes and laptops and cell phones and tablets and and people who are just tuning in touch them father by your love we thank you for this group of musicians and singers who have laid their gifts on the altar for you they've come from different backgrounds and different places 
but you have thread them together in this space, in this place. And many times they have stepped back to let each other shine, cheering one another on for your glory. And thank you, Lord, that in the midst of it all, there's one sound, a sound of praise and glory and honor to your name. Thank you for that. We pray tonight that you've been pleased with what you've heard. We pray that you receive this worship, this praise, and that it made you smile. And now the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. And may the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. <laughs> and may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name. And if you agree with that, say amen. amen. blessing over each and every person in this place. Take this with you wherever you go. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. We're going to sing that again from the bottom of our The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine on and be gracious to you. The Lord turn here face towards you and peace. If you know this, let's lift our voices and sing together.
coming and you're going you're weeping and rejoicing because he is with you he is for 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 you Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 